yeah. So yeah, this, uh, I'm gonna keep calling this thing a turd till I feel like it's no longer a turd. Cause it is a turd. It really is. It really, yeah, it really is. Man, what did I do? So today, this is going to be the story on my 1976 AMC Gremlin that I actually ended up buying in, I believe it was November of 2021. So I've had this for a while now, and been a big work in progress. This car I knew so little about when I went to go look at it. I paid about half of what they had listed for, and I still don't know, I feel like I might have overpaid even at that point. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I had, a, I had a blast working on it. And I hope that you guys enjoy it just as much as I have. Well, with no further ado, let's get started. Did it again, bought another classic. Uh, maybe not actually, I guess, I don't know. Classic is an old and pretty rough and literally covered in fecal matter, so that's that's always nice. But it's pretty cool. Well, that also might be just me, but I don't really care. It's uh, something I've always wanted to get. And uh, it's been, these are getting harder and harder to find, so. So I did the right thing and bought the first one I could get, so that was probably a good idea, sure. Great. All right, let's get to it. So welcome back to Robbie's Hobbies. Today we are starting to work on a 1976 AMC Gremlin. Ain't that just a beaut? Sure. Yeah. Right now, she is pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. She's the, easily the worst conditioned vehicle I've ever bought, so that's so that's fine. But you know, weirdly enough, actually, from what I can gather on this thing, it is uh, actually pretty solid underneath, which makes no sense. But on the sides and on the top, it, uh, she, uh, she could use a little help. So yeah. Let's take a quick walk around here. She's got a nice whiskey dent in there. You know, that's original badging for the Gremlins. But yeah, uh, tires are original since when it's been parked, you know. So, like I said, this is a 76 Gremlin. And as far as I can tell, it hasn't been on the road since 86. Which means, you know, she's been driven for 10 years. That's it. Pretty surprising, I don't know. Is that right? Maybe, probably. All, all the paperwork I can find on, that's all it shows. I have a title that is actually from 85. Actually, no, 84, expires in 85 for registration it showed. So, yeah, I think, honestly, this thing hasn't seen the light of day for a few decades. And she is complete complete something but you know she's still complete yeah some of this is gonna be uh i'm not sure it's so sure when you can see through it's usually not a good sign other than that that's pretty awesome yeah yeah i think these tires from 86 somehow they are holding air i don't know why i, I my new tires don't hold air so i don't I don't get how old these ones are, but that's cool. Does have one little crack in the glass. That's fine. This is apparently it was stored for the last 20 years. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, I did have a rusty panel here that was that got pulled off. That's fine. Cause you know, I don't know. This is this is something, something for sure. But yeah, gold today, just clean it up a little bit because she's nasty. Like I said, it's been stored, I was told it was stored for the last 20 years and actually in a building. I don't know. I bought it from a guy that 
didn't have it in a building, so hang on, bear with me here. I'm gonna try to get this hood open. Oh, there it actually what? Hey. A couple days ago I figure out how to get the hood open. It only took me like an hour. That's fine. Previous guy had no clue. Turns out there's just it's just a doodad there, so that was good. I'll put I'll show you what what I found from two days ago or whatever it was. Alright, well, I don't notice a whole lot more other than just, you know, no air filtre. That's fine. No spark plug wires, like I said earlier. And uh, someone actually, a mouse actually made a mouse nest in the radiator. So, I don't know if you can fix that. I don't know, that that just may be, that just might be hot garbage. Otherwise, the battery here is, uh, you know, this is a Durish start with the, it's the Big Shot edition. So, judging by the color, she probably is a 1980s battery. So that's always cool. But yeah, otherwise, that's about it. Got a gaping hole right there. That goes right into the cab, so that's cool. Probably stuff some spray foam or something in there. So that'd be factory. That'd be good enough. But yeah, otherwise, that's about it. Ancient oil filter. So everything makes sense. She's... She's old and she has been sitting here sitting still for a long time. But yeah, it looks about right. Everything looks decent. Everything's there except for spark plug wires. We got spark plugs in, so that's good. You know, that those shouldn't be super rusted out. So that's good. I don't know. It's the best case scenario. It's about as good as it gets. This is it. That's good. It's fine. This is all all perfect. Sure. But yeah. Otherwise, she's co pretty complete in here. All oh, the rubber's probably shot. That's fine. But it's all here. That's pretty decent. That's all that really matters. Um, otherwise, interior is pretty decent too. That was my only... That was The interior was part of the reason why I actually I, I was okay with this. Because it is pretty, pretty solid. Hey, it held open even. Nice. It's got a couple tears in the seat, front seat. Rear seat looks all there, which is amazing. And but yeah, no tears in it yet. But as soon as you sit in it, they'll change, but that's fine. Vice your garage. Called, I got some redneck di diamonds. You know, that's, I don't know where that's from, but that's okay. Headliner looks awesome. Cause that makes sense. A lot of these door jams look pretty good. A little bit of rust there. Nothing nothing crazy, which is I just don't understand it. But you might be wondering why why a gremlin in the first place? Or do I actually really like this thing? Or you might be also wondering like why does it wash the interior when it rains? I don't 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 mind that. That's 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 fine. That's okay. We'll figure that out. Bondo's cheap. But that's okay. I don't know. I just I just love the car. The dash is even perfect, which I don't I don't know how that's possible, but she is. So, that's cool. What is this? Ugh, I actually forgot to even check how many miles are on this thing. Oh, that's some kind of weird air freshener. Yeah, and I completely forgot to check mileage. I wasn't able to get the hood open. 81,000 miles. That looks about right. I think that's not 181. I think that literally is just 81,000. So, I mean, that's that's pretty good for this turd, you know. Whatever, that's fine. We got cigarette butts and droppings and all that good stuff. So we just need to vacuum this out. God, this dash looks so good. I don't, I don't understand it. Like, hey, here's your cup holders. You know, that's how I would totally trust it. Just set it on there. That's fine. No sidewalls or nothing. Rear brakes have been removed for us. That's nice. We don't need to stop. We don't need to stop where we're going. Horn's not working. Probably because of the ancient battery. That's fine.
keys are actually original. American Motors. At least they're genuine AMC um, keys. It's pretty cool. I'm be I'm beyond excited for this thing. Because it's just a, a turd and I can do whatever I want, want with it. I don't know. But yeah, right now she does have a 232 inline six, which is about equivalent to a 3.8 liter. So, you know, not bad, but I also have a parts truck just around the bend there. And in, around that bend, has it, that truck has a 318 V8 that just runs so well that I think I'm just gonna have to put that in here. But we might first try to get this running first, we'll see. She does need a few things though. But yeah, I think that's about it, guys. We just gotta get to her. Let's get start washing before, cause it's raining now, so that's that's fine. We'll just wash her in the rain. Sweet. Here she goes. But yeah. So no further ado, this turd needs a wash. So let's see if we can bring a little bit of shine back into her. And at least have a shiny turd. That'd be kind of nice. We're not going all out today. We just need to remove some of the disgustingness <laughs> of it. That'd be that'd be all right. controversial part of this car. You know, she's a hatchback flavor, so that's always cool. This is what made it for people or absolutely killed the look for them. So, whatever. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Let's hose this off, see what she looks like. Door. I'm a little saturated now. Getting a little tired of this. Not gonna lie. She looks better. She's now a shade to three shades brighter in certain spots, so that's always good. Probably call her there and wrap things up. Uh, I think it needs some work. Oh boy. 